Yo, right, guys, it's Gameboy Luke here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, we took down Kahuna, Olivia herself, and we are now done with our second grand trial. Uh, we also bumped into Faber as well. We don't know his name yet, but we already know his name. We already bumped into Faber from the Eighth Foundation and says he wants to take us on a trip around the Eighth Foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that. But before that, I'm going to show you the team. We're rocking out with Kapora. Our Dartrix with uh, Giga Drain, Echo Voice, Ominous Wind, and Pluck. Probably get rid of that Evil Light in a second because we don't need it anymore. Panasonic, our Charge Bug, Spark, Bug Bite, Acrobatics, and Crunch. No longer holding the Silver Powder. Maybe I should get back to him. I don't know. Maybe I should. We have Mold Espeon uh, with, es with, 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 with Espeon. With Psybeam, Future Sight, Swift, and a Helping Hand. Holding the Amulet Coin because he likes to get that money. Um, we have Floof, our Fur Throw with Headbutt, Bite, Sand Attack, and Baby Doll Eyes. And then finally, we have Ragnaros. The Bubble Beam, Psy Beam, Ring Out, Aura Beam with Expert Belt because he's an expert at Pokemon moves, damn it. Have you seen how, have you seen how many Pokemon he's dropped with his super effectiveness? We're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and move this hold item to Panasonic because I'm worried about him. And then I can now give Dartrix the Grass CMZ. Oop. So that, now that he has Grass CMZ. Basically, warm up anybody. Let's put Mo up back up in front. Uh, he's easy to train because uh, he's fast. He hits hard. Like it's just perfect. Panasonic is obviously going to be the slower uh, leveling up Pokemon because I can't really use him right now without him getting like bopped. So he's pretty much just getting um, experience from the other Pokemon that are around him. Oh, I see. A, I think a, wait, 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 wait. I spy on my little eye. Something beginning with T. All right, six. So we can actually finally go to the Hound of Grammar Store. Let's see if that person with the Corsola is here as well. So we've been trying to chase them down for like the last, what, eight episodes. Look at the Pelipper. Uh, can I fish here? Nope, there's a totem sticker. Which is wonderful. Uh, what do you have to say? Yo, the Pelipper is flying. Yeah, that's what birds do. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, seeing as this is the Hano- Oh, there is actually this beach we can go onto over here, actually, isn't there? The Hano Beach, which we could potentially surf on and slash or fish. There's an island over there and everything. Is there anyone else over here I can get some stuff from, or...? Right, sure. Big someone big on the sea. Uh, you can just leave them there. They should up on land, that's, uh, and that's not all. Our guests get grossed up by seeing them, even get hurt by stepping on them. So we have to throw. Okay. I, I'm busy right now. I'll deal. I'll deal with that later. I want to see what's over here. It's a pile of sand. Oh, so yeah. So turn to the right. Uh, wants to play more. Turn to the left. Uh, stare at it. Uh, play peekaboo. Peekaboo. Wave goodbye. Bye. So now I see this thing under him. Does he not want to follow me? Follow me. Come here. Ah, that's what's underneath you. Ha, ah, got it. Cheeky. Uh, I don't know what's here, per se. Uh, but I do know there's an item over there, and there's a whole bunch of, like... I don't know if we need a backup water type. Uh, we have Kabuto, actually, I suppose, don't we? So I guess we can leave this area right now with no Pokemon caught. Because uh, we can come back here later, a later date, if it's really that necessary. I don't think there's anything crazy out there as well. So let's go ahead uh, and get in the Hano Grand Resort. And just see if we can find that Corsola lady, honestly. And what is her deal? Please tell me she sat somewhere around. Nope, alright. Ah, so you've come at last. Well, forgive me. I've yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. 
I told you before that I would show you something, something, someplace astounding. Well, that wondrous place is the Eighth of Paradise. Let me tell you about the Eighth of Paradise. It, just as the name suggests, Eighth of Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out into the sea surrounding Alola. It's an artificial island made entirely by human technology for protect the protecting of Pokemon. Of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises, so I will prove to you that I, all I've told you is the, the, the absolute truth with a tour of the Aether Paradise. Of course, I'm an adult that tells- is that like to tell kids that, don't worry, adults never lie? You will come, won't you? No. Nah. <laughs> yes, our children are often too frivolous and aimlessly- to, and aimless to properly think through. Ahem. I mean, they value their freedom so, but the answer, what I want to hear from you is a resounding yes. Now let's hear it. Give me a second. I want to have a look around. She, they said that she'd be singing the song of the Corsola, right? So, if we look around, they're not. There's a crab roll there. Um, there's this big thing. There's also a totem sticker right here. Uh, you have a Murkrow. I can't go up there. Uh, you have a Machamp. Oh, look at those spices bulging with strength. They're practically big enough to burst. Can you even imagine how you'd be able to drive a gulp with muscles like those? Ma, my champ sees uncomfortable. Should you stop them? That sh you'll probably get dragged into a battle. Stop them. Excuse you, what do you think you're doing? We hired this big fella to be our caddy. And now we're in the middle of something important right now. How about you get out of my grill? Yeah, just get lost, would you? Alright, that's it, mate. Honestly. You girls think you're tough shit? You better catch these hands. They both have Oricarios. Alright. No, Panasonic! This is a dangerous situation. This is a dangerous situation and I do not feel comfortable. Oh, I'm still getting frame drops. That's crazy. Uh, let's go to the floof. Come back, boy. Hello. I am a doggo. Damn, Morocario is... Hella bulky. Oh, we're eating this up. Yummy. Alright, you can both use the same moves. That's pretty neat. Alright, let's deal with this. Let's deal with this first. Kabamo. Please die. Oofed. And then we can just bite and deal with this other one. Like, no problemo. What are you gonna do? Air cutter? Yeah, that's what I thought. Espeon dodged it like a- oh wait, nope, sorry, Floof dodged it. He's the talented doggo. Uh, a swift. And then we'll just bite, and that should be- I think that's enough. That should be enough. Whoa, I did nothing. I did not do- oh, it flinched. <laughs> that's what we call a GG right there, fellas. Goodbye. 802 experience, we can take those. When does Espeon learn Psychic? Let's have a, let's have a, let's have a quick look at that. Oh, I, have, I didn't add Espeon to my, um... My faves. Alright, Espeon. Espeon learns Psychic at level... 37. Cool. Now it's letting Psych up, we don't need that. Level 30. Ba -na -na -na. Cool. Level 29. That's it. Oh, so it's like that. The mystery is too deep. What is up with you? I know, right? Just totally killed the move. Let's just go. Jeez, you little. What was that? You trying to be a hero or something? What did you go do that for, huh? I'm not a Pokemon. I'm a born and bred human being, duh. This is just a costume. Like, seriously, dude. Are you here to just ruin my day? Going and blowing all the hard work that I put in disguising myself as a champ caddy. I was going to make some real bank off this job. And then you had to come along and try to rescue me. Man, I want to cry right now. But I know you're just trying to help. I can't get mad for what you did. So here, just take this. That's how you get attracted. Alright. Alright. Okay. Interesting. All that for an attract TM. Is there literally... She's not here, is she? I'm a little bit upset. Alright, where's Faber? I'll go to the stupid foundation. Yes. Good, good. Then you'll come with me. That paradise will, uh, will, will amaze you. Huh, whoa, wait, take me too! Oh, even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. 
As a kahuna, I look after all the trial goers who come to my eve, my ch my island. They're like my own children. Not that I've got any, I've never even gone married. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest allies, the Pokemon behind you, but beside you. Oh. Are you coming too, Professor? Now I've got my own business to attend to. You go see all the amazing tech that Aether's developing. Tell me about it later. Yeah. That's right. I'll see you on the next island. I want I want Kakui shades. I've never seen someone rock shades like that and actually look cool. Ula Ula Island, yeah. Let's meet up at Mally Garden. Yep, it's goodbye, Kal Island! Uh though I guess I can come back anytime we want to, huh? Ah, then let us enjoy an adventure upon the grand vessel that will take us across the high seas, by which I mean to say the ferry. Ah, uh, yeah, it's interesting. Let's do it! Well, can you believe a big hunk of iron like Aether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of, well, of the Pokemon holding up. Did you know that, Luki? Well, I knew I could count on you to react. Cool, I can't actually, uh, I can't wait to actually see inside of the Paradise myself. Damn it, Hal, you got me again, you cheeky little... Whippersnapper. Can we, can we just Mantine Surf there? I want a Mantine Surf there. Alright, Ate the Paradise. Oh yeah. Show me what's going on. Okay, we need to try and see if there's anything that looks different. This already looks different to me. I don't know if it's if it's just I'm just being like um I'm picking addicts uh, I haven't seen it in a while. Or it just I'm I don't know, it's like it's ultra soon ultra sun ultra moon, so I'm trying to like I'm like, oh yeah, it definitely looks different. Here we are, you two. This is Aether Paradise. Oop. Hey, the powder is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. Yet it's a to do with all the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our team work on developing new Pokemons and more. Yes, all for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though, you will not be able to use any of your Pokemons within Asia of the Aether Paradise as jamming signals broadcast throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. Interesting. So how, like, in the Sun and Moon, how do we use our Pokemon? Is that, like, the jamming signal don't not prevent not to prevent that? It just prevents them from catching Pokemon? Excuse me, Mr. Faber. Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of that form of, form of address? I have a title for a reason. How will anyone else know how important I am? <sighs> yes, Branch Chief Faber. Now, I must go speak with the president about that, our conservation efforts on our collar. Show these children around and then take them to meet the president as well. He always rubbed me the wrong way. Like, especially when he was like, yes, for the conservation of Pokemon. It's like when me and Duncan did that um, thing at Nintendo. Like, yes, fellow Nintendo employee. It's like, like you have to reassure yourself. That's like, That shouts to me like they're lying sort of thing. You know they're lying, but yeah. I had a bad feeling about them. Welcome to the 8th of Paradise, Luki and Hal. My name is Wick. Nice to meet you. Wait, you know who we are? How'd you know that? How'd you know that? Whoa! One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island. And of course, I heard how you helped protect uh, the Pokemon too, young, young Mr. Howl. Thank you very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is above us. Let's -a go! Dude, I look hella dapper. I look main character AF, to be honest. I look main character AF. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it. What's a Dupiter? Luking, you are you and Health are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose. You must be around 11 then. Yeah, I am. I'm totally 11, dude. <laughs> yeah, I took the first chance I had to join the Island Challenge once I turned 11. Because someday I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. So for now, I should join my Island Challenge. How, how lovely of you. I suppose all children must yearn to take the journey of their own choosing when they get to be about your age. Though you're hardly just children anymore. Trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. Luki, how? Would you like to see the conservation area upstairs? Here's the button. Let's push it. It's like being shown a tour of a place you've been to before. It's a little bit awkward. God, the back of my elbow is like red. 
Ace Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this, re for this reason, the use of Pokeballs is strictly forbidden within the conservation area. Oh, just within the conservation. Okay, got you. Whoa, wow. Uh, um, Wick. We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by T2 Skull here, and we also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsa, for example, they are quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called Marini. I hope you don't find, mind if I read a passage from my old Pokedex. I traveled through Kanto before, when I was younger, you see. She didn't mention that last time. Who are you? Corsola. In Alola, where their natural enemies, Marini, are plentiful, many Corsola have stubby branches on their heads. <clears throat> yeah, my Gramps is always saying that nature's got its cruel side, sure as it gives us blessings. But can Aether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon that are out there? Nature does have its own balance, balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans can try to affect that, can't it? Well, that's pretty amazing. The Earth Foundation seems awesome. But why would you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine, she should be here in the conservation area now. Alright, let's go find her. Let's go find her. You okay, Rotom? I thought. Hello, Starmie. Starmie is staring at you. What do I do? Turn to the right. Yeah. Oopsie, I shouldn't. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do the other option. Turn to the left. Stare at it. Uh. Play peekaboo. And then wave goodbye. Bye. I like making friends with Pokemon. Alright, let's see. Is she around uh, this way? There she is. My sweet Pokemon, I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Ah. You must be Luki and Howell. Welcome to the Aether Paradise, the Aether Foundation's own private island. I am the president of the Foundation, but please just call me Lusamine. I'm so glad that we got to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon. But there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even profit. And this is why, that's why I'm here. I will be like a mother to all those poor Pokemon and shower them with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from the Alola region, are worthy of my love. Well, Miss Lu 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 Lusamine, I don't know how you do this. You're like, not even that much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. Ha, <laughs> you are? Whoa! Wait, what? Oh, you. The right style does wonders, you know? And how your style is a bit wanting, hmm? I'll have, you, I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick out a smashing outfit. Like, like, look his face. Like what you wear? I don't think anyone else can pull off that kind of look, except maybe Lily. Oh, don't you worry. Just leave it. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children would all be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. Damn, I look good. That tremor, did something just happen on the lower fours? Oh, snap. Uh oh. Epic cutscene time! Hello, Nihilago. Oh, snap. You are. Have you come from a distant world? Ve Venomino? What did that say? 
This Lucilline... It's Nihil Lego. This Lucilline, stand back, that thing's not right! You poor creature. Okay, uh... Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. What does she say? You poor creature. Be careful, Roto L. Venomenon. What is she? Venomenon? Okay, so I was wondering if you hacked the game and had beast balls in early, right? They wouldn't work. I just realized they wouldn't work because this, this conservation area disables Pokeballs, so you can't actually throw Pokeballs at this thing. But I'm pretty sure this thing flees, doesn't it? So let's just try and let's just try and kill it. The experience. Damn. There goes the Venom Shock. Uh, we eating that up. That's yummy. Psybeam, go! I don't think we can even kill it, to be honest. I think it flees. Psywave. I want to throw a Pokeball at it so bad, but obviously it won't, obviously won't work. You can't catch them in- you can't catch them in these, uh, Pokeballs, I don't think. So we just see what happens. You can't throw Pokeballs- yeah, I, yeah, okay, that's why you can't throw Pokeballs here. Gotcha. I guess I'll just- I'll just- I'll just kill it. Gotcha. Give me that experience, hell yeah. Level 30 Ragnaros, boy. Level 31 Kepora, boy. The unidentified creature disappeared. So it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. Miss Lucimi, are you okay? Oh! Oh, snap! Why so shocked? Was it your first time seeing an Ultra Beast? Oh, he's got his glasses off. Those mysterious creatures that live beyond the Ultra Wormholes. The holes that suddenly open in the sky and lead to Ultra Space. It would serve- it would serve you well to remember this. Who the- uh, seriously, what's with the get-up? These are my guests, the Ultra Recon Squad. They have been given the foundation advice by the Ultra Beasts. Why don't you introduce yourselves? Oh my god, he looks spoopy. He looks spoopy. So we meet again, trial goer. The Ultra Recon Squad is, well, as the name suggests, it is a group that investigates Ultra Wormholes and Ultra Beasts. This is Captain Fico, and I am Solera. Soleria. I will never get her name right. Ultra Wormholes? We have also come to the Alola region from another world via an ultra wormhole, a world of darkness without light. This is a creature known as the Crosma. It is able to bestow light upon others, but now it runs wild beyond reason. We call it the Binding One out of respect, but the Blinding One. I fear that the day may come where Alola loses its light to Necrozma. But everything will be fine if this Necrozma or even an ultra beast like the one we just saw should come to this world from another, the old, the old found the Aether Foundation will be prepared to protect the light of Alola. Rest easy. You will not have to worry about a thing. Wick. These two are still in the middle of their island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to their next island. No! Don't do that! I wanna- I wanna- I really badly wanna do the- the- the Mantine Surf. I will go to check that none of the poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. And I need to speak to Mr. Faber about what exactly what happened downstairs. And maybe that our experiments to open the Ultra Wormhole are not going as well as we'd hoped. I'll see the two of you to Lula Island then. Ooh. Well then. Interesting. They are helping the Aether Foundation. So it's Team Skull, Ultra Recon Squad, and um, Aether Foundation. Well, I never thought I'd actually get to see an Ultra Wormhole in my life. Never mind meeting people from another world. Man, the surprises just don't stop coming. They don't stop coming, Eddie. We gotta tell Professor Burnett about this next time we see her. I'm glad you feel that way. What happened here today was a surprise for us all, but I would like, uh, I was very glad to meet you all. Please take, uh, take this to remember for your visit. Some Alasadas for how? Yes, Big Malasad is awesome! Isn't it crazy how Malasad is tasting even better when you eat them together with someone else? 
Yes, I think I know what you mean. Those always taste better when you share them with ones you love. And for you, Luki, the tail move was- Thank you! I'll teach that to Espeon right now! I hope that both of you have wondrous events on your island challenge. We will, Miss Wick. Thanks, Miss Wick. I think I, I thank you so much. Appreciate it. She's like that really cool teacher you have at school. You know the one I'm talking about. She came into your head, didn't she? Or he? God, my arm is aching. My heart's still kind of racing. The Ultra Wormhole is real, and the Ultra Beasts are real too. And there's Ultra Recon Squad too. The world is just way too big. And I will discover even more new things in this next island too. Where are you the energy we can get? Time to dig in! Look at me. Look cute as heck. You want a Malasada? Hell yeah. Eating Malasada is my best friend, how, how? Ah, so good! Shoot! I already ate the whole thing! That was a... I think we were meant to do on Ula Ula Island. I don't remember what it was though. I've forgotten already. I have such a bad memory. I don't remember. It looks like that looks like the tin tower. The bird above it and everything. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Land ahoy! All right, terra firma, underfoot again. Ulu Island is like a to another totally different place than Mele Mele Akala, huh? We're supposed to meet with the professor, right? Where was it, Mali Garden? Why do you want us to go to the garden? Guess we'll find out when we're here, right? We to Ulu Island now means another island Pokedex. You big boy, fill her up. All right, super neato. I'm gonna end this episode off here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, kind of an eventful episode. We're now on our third island now, about to meet up with, uh, what's his face, uh, Professor Kui. It means a whole bunch of potential new Pokemon to catch. I think we can catch Rayu Ray on this island somewhere, if we're lucky. That will get on our first encounter. I'm not that, I'm definitely not that lucky. But yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys next time.